Today on Discover Uganda, Kemi takes us to the stunning Moya Safari Lodge. For you. Oh, thank you. Yes, passion fruits from the mountains of Ruenzori. Just for me. Exactly. <laughs> Look at this view. Yeah. All is for you. Moya Safari Lodge is located on a peninsula in the heart of Queen Elizabeth National Park. It is almost completely surrounded by water, with a jaw-dropping view of the Kazinga Channel, the channel that connects Lake George to Lake Edward. So let's go to your home. Oh, I'm Where excited. are you going to be tonight? The rooms at Moya have a bit of a reputation. It is rumored that they were built strategically so the guests can get a view of all sorts of wildlife right in the comfort of their rooms. That's why most customers <laughs> are frequenting Moya yes. to prove what they are hearing or reading about. I want to and see the, what that this is. That is one of the, <laughs> of the types of uh, activities and the facilities which we are surprising customers about. Okay. For us here, we have a different wow. airport. Yeah. Look at so this view. Here we are. Please, you're welcome to your home. This is my home. Is your, uh, you home. may be right. I may stay a few more nights. <laughs> wow. For guests seeking the ultimate privacy and exclusivity, the deluxe tent is the way to go. With a generously large air-conditioned bedroom, an oversized bathroom, all with a really luxurious finish, the deluxe tent is the perfect choice for absolute comfort. And this one is uh, called the Queen's Cottage. This is another, where I'll be staying next time. Another time when you come, because it is more spacious than mm -hmm. the deluxe tent. So you're welcome to the Queen's Cottage. Wow. Yes, you is this is there only one? Uh, this uh, setup is only this. So you're welcome to. What greets you as soon as you step inside the Queen's Cottage are pictures of the youthful Queen Elizabeth on safari in the very park that was named after her. It has a large living and dining room, a 41-inch plasma TV screen with DSTV and 5.1 Dolby surround sound. For what you ask? Obviously, so you never miss an episode of Discover Uganda, even when you're on safari. The bare necessities, ladies and gentlemen, the bare necessities. The cottage has an ultra-luxury master bedroom with a king-sized bed, an ensuite bathroom with shower and sunken bath. Also in the cottage is a twin bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. And here's the best part. All these rooms have their own balconies with spectacular views of lush vegetation, rich wildlife, and the famous meandering Kazinga Channel. Kemi ends her walk at the Moya State-of-the-Art Health Club. The health club has everything you could possibly need or ask for. An exercise studio, a hair salon, massage facilities, sauna, and steam bath. After settling in, Kemi got to take a ride on a hippo. I would like you to introduce. This is Hassan, the captain. Hi, Hassan. Nice to meet you, Hassan. She is Olivia. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, she, is, she will be our uh, waitress uh, this evening. Moya Lodge is located right on the Kazinga Channel, a 32-kilometer stretch of water that divides the park into two sectors. We have the northern section behind us. Uh, then the southern section ahead of us, where we mainly have Chambrua Gorge, famous for chimpanzee tracking, and the Shosha for the quick climbing lions. So, uh, what is the most common animal that you tend to see on these boat rides? On these boat rides, it depends on the weather. If it's a really very hot season, we will receive many animals here. Uh, African savanna elephants in big families on the shoreline. During the hot days, animals come there mostly for water. And then um, African Cape buffaloes, those ones are there every day. And then hippopotamuses, as I told you earlier, we have about 2,000, so those ones are there. Oh, the Shoah 2001, because we're <laughs> on one. <That's> right. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing to see on the boat, right? Me? Yes. Myself? I love olive baboons. Olive when I baboon. find them, I really, <laughs> find, really feel happy. 
So, for people who enjoy bird watching, is there a variety of birds that people can see on this boat ride? Yeah, many. Actually, this park has about 600 total bird species recorded in the park. There's a crop that's running back in the waters oh, wow. on the left hand side, just been sunbathing. So it's kind of. Are you sure we are. Yeah, we are safe. We are safe. We are safe. More than safe. More than Maybe safe. Maybe we should swap seats. Not really. <laughs> Sam, it must be your lucky charm. Yeah. Because there's some baboons yeah, over there. Yes, yeah. I love them so much. So the ones that you see a bit uh, red behind, uh, those are uh, the females. So the more red they are, is the more they on heat. Oh. Yes. And um, that is a very clear sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the males are looking for the ones to mate with, they usually look for the more red. So it's like a sign. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> Can you tell the age of the elephants by looking at them? Mm, not really. I will just approximate. Approximately how old is that young? Uh, this girl? young one. That one may be around 15 to 20 years. 15? To 20 years. And it's that small? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that means those huge ones are They are, they are about 50, 60, because oh, wow. uh, their lifespan ranges from 60 to 80 years. After half an hour on the hippo, Kemi arrives at the Kazingo fishing village. A village that houses natives that coexist with the wild animals. So those are the fish markets? Right here? Yeah, right there. In the morning, people are crowded there for fish. Mm. So what is the main kind of fish that is caught here? Uh, mainly it's tilapia, lungfish and catfish. Those are the main species caught here. So we stop here and I'm very grateful for your attention. I thank you. And thank you so <laughs> much for visiting Queen Elizabeth National Park. Actually choosing Mwea Safari Lodge. Thank and you And this so is the hippo much. boat. Yes. I will hope to see you next time again. Let I me know. think it's not here. I'll return to my class. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I've Th learned so much. Thank you for much. appreciating. Thank you. Yeah. With the sun setting over the Kazinga Channel, the ride back to the lodge is even more picturesque. No wonder the Queen loved it so much when she visited this park. Hello. Thank you Hi. so much for taking the time to talk with me. Yeah. Chef Balaji is Indian with global experience. He has been head chef at Moya Safari Lodge for four months now and he says he isn't going anywhere. Tonight, Chef Balaji is going to prepare tequila chicken, a meal that takes 30 minutes to put together. Ooh, thank you. You're gonna have to explain what this is. I don't know where to start. To start off, he marinates and braises the chicken with Mexican spices and chilies, habanero chilies to be exact. The chicken is stuffed with tapioca, dodo and mashed potatoes. Marinating takes 10 minutes and cooking 20, thus half an hour for full preparation. I don't even want to eat it, it looks like a piece of art. Well, it's let's dig in. <laughs> the art of cooking. Is this your favorite dish? Yeah, this is, this is my all-time favorite. Chef Balaji is a rather eclectic man. An Indian man preparing Mexican food at a Ugandan restaurant? Now that's something you don't see every day. I have never it's spicy. Taste, no, it's just right. Okay. I've never tasted chicken stuffed with really? dodo. Okay. I hope you're enjoying the meal. I'm enjoying it really. Do any of the wild animals make it to your menu? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> They're safe for now. <laughs> to any guest that comes to Moya, what is the one thing they should always eat here on your menu? Chicken, for kilo chicken, I have in the menu. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Well, this has been tasty yeah. and I thank you so much yeah. for taking the time to talk to me and cooking me this great meal. You're yeah, welcome. Thank, you. thank you very much. Tula tula kwato mana buto mo kwatengo limulogo seba ulira. 
tulo tulo kwato mwana buto mukwata ingo li musazi sebo ulira Introducing Night Zone from MTN. Talk for as long as you want for as little as 19 shillings per minute from midnight to 5 a.m. every night. Uganda is quite an experience and we know that. We know food, good beds, amazing views, cheap buses, tasty beers and even know you. Yes, you. How you look for fun, love adventure, hate lining up, and enjoy eating out. How you save things, catch new movies, party all night, go on vacations, and all the while letting your friends know. How you, well, you get the point. The Power Guide app, experience Premium Uganda. So here we are on Mwea Safar Lodge, and at this time is when we plan to go for our morning game drives. And our morning game drive starts exactly at 6.30. So what can we expect to see on this game drive? In, in this park, we have different mammal species and a lot of bird species. So if you are good in loving birds, I can say Queen Elizabeth National Park mm -hmm. is a good destination. Because we have 612 bird species. And animals, we have 95 mammal species, but specifically when we go in the game drive, it's where we try most of our life to see the cats. Mm. When I say cats, most I mean <laughs> the lions, the real cats, the leopards, <laughs> even the hyenas. So yesterday we were lucky enough to do the boat cruise and we saw a lot of animals. Yes. What makes the game drive different from the boat cruise? Yes, the game drive is different from the boat cruise. In the game drives, specifically, you try to see, you are like to see the, uh, the cats, mostly the lions, the leopards. There are few chances of seeing the lions on the boat. A couple of minutes into the drive, Kemi catches sight of the famous Uganda Corp, one of Uganda's treasured emblems. And in this park, we have a lot of them. There are very many. Uh, they produce, their gestation period is very short. In the time of mating, these anthropes, they come here. A female and a male, it's where they do mating. And you find other groups, they have to give protection, they keep around. So in case of any predator, mostly the lions, they start whispering, this means they are informing the two that there is a danger. Just 10 minutes more into Kemi's drive, they happened to stumble on a pride of lions. They were munching away on what probably was once a cob. Now, that's breakfast for champions. Further along on the drive, Kemi caught a whiff of something rather unpleasant. Her first thought was lion's kill. But the further they drove away from the lions, the stronger the stench got. This lake is called Lake Nyamunuka. The word Nyamunuka is a local name. Mm -hmm. It was nicknamed by the local communities around in Queen Elizabeth National Park. And Nyamunuka means something which stinks <laughs> or has a bad smell. Yes, I so can even see you can, why. you can smell something <laughs> badly. Yes. So it is this lake. Kemi suddenly had an action packed morning. The highlight, undoubtedly, being seeing the king of the jungle having his breakfast. Honestly, Moya couldn't be better located in the park. So next time, don't hesitate to come to Moya. All right. Anytime you will be welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you for taking us on the game drive and talking so much about the animals. I really learned a lot. It's a pleasure to us. Thank you. Um. Hi. Hi. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Great pleasure, great pleasure. Welcome to Moya. Thank you. So could you tell us a little bit about what makes Moya so special 
I mean, Uganda has plenty lodges, and uh, in your opinion, what makes Mueya stand out from the rest? You know, um, first of all, the unique setting. Um, I think if you take all the lodges in the Marasa group, we, all the lodges have got very unique settings. Moya, more so, um, we situated on a peninsula, we're surrounded by water. Um, it's an absolute animal attraction. Um, they all come down to the water side. It's, it's really a fantastic location. Um, besides for that, it's the experience. Moya is the same as many other lodges, bricks and mortar, and, and provides the services. But it's the way we provide the service. It's the experience that the guest has when they, when they, when they come to, to, to Moya. Um, one of the highlights and possibly the most um, attractive activity we, we have is the, the boat cruise on the Kazinga Channel. Um, we've also recently started a, an activity called a bush dinner. So you get to see the sun go down, have some cocktails, and that's followed by a dinner in the bush. So uh, my experience in coming here is that uh, whilst you get to see this wildlife and experience this camping feel, you get to do it in the comfort of five-star luxury. Uh, could you talk more about the facilities you offer here at Moya? Um, you come to Moya and you know it's, it's not your traditional um, bush lodge, if you will. It is a little bit more luxury to, to the whole aspect. We have a variety of room choices that you can go through. Um, very popular rooms is our tents. We have uh, deluxe tents as well as standard tents, which gives you that, you know, in the bush camping kind of feel, but still with the, the luxury of a fully equipped bathroom and, a, and, a, and an air conditioning and those type of, of, of amenities. We also have cottage options. Um, we do a Queen's Cottage, which is a, a luxury, nearly a home on its own. Um, and again, yeah, we have a presidential cottage as well, which is pretty similar just um, um, in size and, and, and in look and feel. And it's only the presidential and Queen's cottages that have TVs in them. Mr. Carstens explains why they kept TVs out of all the other rooms. We don't put TVs in the rooms. Um, it just takes away from the, from the atmosphere. Um, you want to have that bush sound and whatever. You don't want to have a lot of TVs in the, in the, in the bedrooms and stuff. Um, we want to draw people out into the into the main lobby area. We've got this wow window, which you know takes your breath away when you walk into the into the lobby for the first time. It's a it's a it's a blessing to stay here. It's it's an absolute wonder to wake up to this view every morning. I mean, I wish this was my home. <laughs> <laughs>